We start with breaking news. An arrest warrant has been issued for Austin police officer Christopher Taylor. He faces a murder charge related to the shooting death of Michael Ramos last April. KXAN's Jennifer Sanders is live tonight with details for us. Jennifer. A very good evening to you. The Travis County Sheriff's Office confirms that that warrant was issued and Taylor's bail is set at $100,000. Now, last April, Ramos was shot by Taylor in the parking lot of a South Austin apartment building. Officers initially responded to a call of a man with a gun, but police later confirmed that a gun was never found in Ramos's car or in the vicinity. Now, over the summer, body and dash cam videos of the incident were released. Taylor is the subject of a joint investigation by APD's Special Investigations Unit and the DA's Civil Rights Unit for the death of Ramos. In January, the Travis County District Attorney's Office told KXAN it expected to present the case to a grand jury before the end of March. Tonight, though, District Attorney Jose Garza could not comment on the investigation or the case. Now, we have reached out to Austin Police and we are waiting for a statement from them. I also spoke with Taylor's lawyers through his through email and they tell me that they will be making a statement tomorrow live in Austin Jennifer Sanders KXAN News Jennifer thank you we'll continue following this story all night and into the morning watch for updates at KXAN.com and on KXAN News today beginning at 4 30 tomorrow morning Officer Taylor was involved in another fatal shooting in late July 2019. Maurice De Silva died at his condo on Bowie Street in downtown Austin. Authorities were called because De Silva was armed with a knife and suffering from a mental health episode. AP, APD said De Silva stepped toward officers when Taylor and another officer fired their weapons. A third officer used a stun gun. This case is also being looked at by the DA's Civil Rights Division. De Silva's family filed a wrongful death lawsuit in February.